Welcome back everyone, it is Ryan with the Idaho Crypto Group and today is the third episode of the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Cryptocurrency, How to Buy Cryptocurrency. So if you missed the first two episodes, make sure to go watch those where you teach you a little bit about what cryptocurrency is, how it works, how to set up a wallet, which is the place that you will store cryptocurrency and also send and receive cryptocurrency from. So make sure to go watch those first if you didn't already and let's get right into it. So now that you know a little bit about crypto and you have a wallet set up, you have somewhere to store your cryptocurrency and, and receive cryptocurrency cryptocurrency to now you need to know how to buy cryptocurrency so there are basically three different ways that you can buy cryptocurrency you can either do it through one a peer-to-peer -peer transaction two an online brokerage or three a bitcoin atm which the bitcoin atm i'm going to make a separate video on which is actually going to be the next video coming out um, but today we're going to talk a little bit about peer-to-peer -peer transactions as well as buying through an online brokerage so a peer-to-peer -peer transaction is the first way you could buy cryptocurrency and that would be as if i was selling bitcoin and you were looking to buy some you would come to me and say hey ryan i'm looking to buy x amount of bitcoin for this price can we make a deal sure and we could you know talk about the numbers make a deal make it happen you give me cash or whatever and i send Bitcoin or crypto, whatever crypto you're buying to your wallet. And the way that I would do that is by sending the crypto to your public receive address. So in our previous video, we talked about cryptocurrency wallets and the difference between public and private keys and public addresses. So if you didn't watch that video and you don't know about public addresses, please go watch that first. But again, if you were wanting to buy Bitcoin from someone, you are going to send them your receive Bitcoin public address. So if I was selling Bitcoin to you, you would need to send me your receive Bitcoin address, which you find right here. If you were buying Chainlink from me, you would need to send me your receive public address. And then since I am sending Bitcoin to you, I would then hit send and paste your Bitcoin public address right there. Type the amount of Bitcoin I want to send and hit send. That simple. So that would be an example of a peer to peer transaction. However, you got to be careful when you're doing peer to peer transactions, make sure the person you're dealing with is legit has honest intentions or you know them. Now, the second way that you can buy cryptocurrency is through an online brokerage. So an example of this would be like Coinbase, right, you can set up a Coinbase account. And uh, Coinbase is a regulated and legal exchange here in the United States. It is also a fiat to crypto exchange, meaning you can buy cryptocurrency with a debit card or with a bank transfer or a wire transfer on coinbase you can go in and whether you're on mobile or desktop it's going to be pretty similar but at some point you are going to need to add a payment method now like i said coinbase can do ach deposits you can also link up debit cards and you can also do wire transfers now a couple of things you need to keep in mind when buying cryptocurrency on coinbase again it is regulated you're going to have to submit your id last four of your social and go through all of their kyc rules which are know your customer rules you'll need to learn about those a lot in the crypto space every exchange exchange and brokerage is different. Um, also, one thing to keep in mind is some banks still don't work with crypto. So if you're trying to add a debit card or a bank account, and it just keeps denying and rejecting it, you might want to reach out to your bank and see if they allow transactions dealing with cryptocurrency because many banks and credit cards slash debit cards do not allow cryptocurrency transactions at this point. So you're gonna have to do a little bit of research and find out if you are able to but like I said, on Coinbase, you could add a debit card and then you can buy cryptocurrency directly with with your debit card. A couple of other things to keep in mind when you're buying crypto through an online brokerage is one, fees, and two, a holding period. So not all brokerages are gonna have holding periods. Coinbase, for example, depending on which method you use to buy cryptocurrency, there's most likely gonna be a holding period where you won't be able to withdraw the coins for about seven days. So you're gonna wanna make sure to do your research in the Coinbase help section. They do have a entire section here on the holding periods and how they're calculated. So you're gonna wanna make sure to read through that. The second thing you're going to want to keep in mind is fees. So obviously, when you buy and use an online brokerage or a Bitcoin ATM, there's always going to be some sort of fee, right? So Coinbase has another section in their help center where you can read all about their fees. As you can see, different credit card fees apply depending on which country you're in and which type of payment method you're going to be using. So just make sure that you understand what fees you're paying just to make sure that you're not paying unnecessary fees. I've seen some Bitcoin ATMs with fees almost as high as 20% which is absolutely ridiculous. You should not be paying anywhere close to 20% for a crypto entrance fee. You should probably be around three to 6% for a crypto entrance fee. Now, you can also buy cryptocurrency through a third party exchange system like we have listed on our website. If you go to our page, idahocryptogroup.com and click buy crypto here, 
it's going to take you to changely.com, which is a third party exchange system. So right here, you can choose what you want to spend, whether you're spending US dollars, euros, pounds, whatever it is. So you say you wanted to buy $100 worth, you choose which coin you'd like to buy. So if I wanted to buy $100 worth of Bitcoin, for example, you're going to put your country of residence as well as your state, because again, there are different KYC rules for each brokerage. So some exchanges aren't allowed in certain states and certain countries. But once you type in what you're looking to buy, Changely automatically populates some different offers here. Now it already puts the best offer at the top and it tells you who it's going to be powered through, which in this case is MoonPay, again, another third party brokerage. But you can also see over here on the right side that they list the type Types of payment they accept so visa mastercard bank as well as apple pay so hundred dollars worth of bitcoin i would hit buy now and then boom again this is where you're going to enter your public address again if i wanted to buy bitcoin and send it to my bitcoin wallet what i would do is open up exodus which is the wallet we show you how to set up in the previous video and i'm going to go to my wallet page and find the coin that i'm buying in this case i am trying to buy bitcoin so i'm going to hit receive and again, this is going to pull up your Bitcoin public receive address. So I went ahead and clicked this copy button right here, and then you're going to go back to your browser. And then this is where you would paste your Bitcoin public address. So this tells the exchange system where the Bitcoin is going to be sent to. So you want to make sure that you don't try to type these numbers in one by one, because it's very easy to mess one of these up. And again, cryptocurrency transactions are basically impossible to reverse. So you got to double check your stuff, make sure you hit copy and make sure you paste the correct address into here but once you have that in you can hit go to payment and then again this one is through moon pay so you are going to have to set up a little count but it's pretty straightforward from that point you just set up your account you type in your payment details and they will begin the exchange process for you once the exchange is complete give it a little bit of time when you're using a third-party brokerage but then your bitcoin will show up in your wallet same thing again on Coinbase, you can go into add a payment method, add one of the three payment methods. And then again, pretty straightforward from there, it's going to have you enter in all of the payment details, and then it will give you the option to choose the coin you want to buy, you could buy Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, whatever coin you're wanting to buy, and then you type in the amount you'd like to buy, and you finish the transaction pretty simple today. Again, there's basically only three ways to buy cryptocurrency in this space. You can either do a peer to peer transaction, or you can use an online brokerage such as Coinbase, Changely. You can also do fiat to crypto exchanges on Kraken and Binance US, I believe. So again, there's a bunch of different places that you can do fiat to crypto transactions. Just make sure to do your research, make sure you're doing it on a trusted exchange. And then the third way is through a Bitcoin ATM, which is going to be the next video. So that wraps up the third episode of the ultimate beginner's guide to cryptocurrency how to buy crypto if you liked the video please make sure to drop a like a comment if you have any questions subscribe so you can catch our future videos and stay tuned for the next one which will be how to use a bitcoin atm so thanks again for watching and we'll catch you next time